Ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. After an incredibly long wait, the Tokyo Olympics have finally arrived, and despite many challenges just to get to the starting line, the talent awaiting these track and field events is nothing short of exceptional. In the men's 10,000 meters, a massive clash of global talents will be unfolding this Friday morning. Hailing from Uganda, the world record holder in this event, Joshua Cheptegei, looks to continue his winning ways after his 2019 World Championship gold in this event and his incredible 26-11 world record from 2020. However, he will certainly be challenged by a fantastic field, including Ronik Skipruto from Kenya, Solomon Borega from Ethiopia, and the ever-dangerous Yomif Kajelcha, also from Ethiopia. However, his biggest competition will likely come from his own teammate, the 20-year-old wonder, Jacob Kiplimo. Earlier this season, Kiplimo ran a 26.33 for the 10,000, and he managed to run this all by himself. And given his personal bests ranging from the 3,000 now all the way up to the half marathon, I gotta say, I think Kiplimo has the slight advantage to take home the gold medal, especially given his world-class finishing speed. Next, the women's 800 meters is going to be remarkable. At the moment, 50 separate athletes this season have run under two minutes for this two-lap race, which is quite extraordinary, and at the very top of these world rankings is none other than a Thing Mo. In 2021, this 19-year-old has taken the world by storm. For her collegiate season, she managed to break six, that's right, six separate collegiate records, absolutely dominating her competition. However, her best race this season was her Olympic Trials 800-meter victory, where she won in 1 minute 56.07 seconds, a time that now places her as the third fastest junior athlete in history. What made this Trials win so great was that she almost tripped during her opening 200 meters. However, with very mature racing and extremely smooth form, she ran the world's fastest time this year, easily outlasting her opponents with untouchable finishing speed. Mo simply has to be the favorite for the 800 meters in Tokyo, there is no question about it. But with a total of five other athletes who have also broken 157 this year, victory is not guaranteed for this incredibly talented American athlete, so definitely keep your eyes open for this event. Indeed, the men's 10,000 and the women's 800 are shaping up to be incredible races. However, for this particular video, we'll be looking at one of the most historic clashes in track and field history, and that is the men's 400 meter hurdles. To put it simply, this 400 hurdle showdown has a huge possibility at setting a new world record that could stand for generations, and that's because both Karsten Vorholm from Norway and Rye Benjamin from the United States are finally set to battle upon meeting in this Olympic final. On July 1st of this season, Warholm broke the world record in this event, hitting an epic time of 46.70 seconds. This performance finally broke the previous world record that had stood since 1992, and in his classic Norwegian Viking style, Warholm attacked this race with absolutely no inhibitions. From the very beginning, he was already leagues ahead of anyone else, and upon hitting the finish line, the time of 46.70 finally meant that Warholm was the world record holder in the 400 hurdles. Alternatively to Warholm, who attacks each hurdle very aggressively, is Rye Benjamin, who ran a time of 46.83 at this year's United States Olympic Trials. Unlike Warholm, Benjamin's approach to this victory was much more calculated and controlled, clearly holding himself back over the opening half. However, over the final 200 meters here, he left his competition in his dust as he managed to accelerate extremely quickly to the finish line. Compared to Warholm, Benjamin's relaxed form during this race unquestionably indicates that he can run much, much faster. And if we look beyond just his 400 hurdles times, we can see that Benjamin easily outperforms Warholm when it comes to normal sprinting events, holding much faster personal bests in the 100, the 200, and in the 400 meters. On paper, Benjamin's natural speed is simply better than Vorholm, and he is clearly a threat to challenge Vorholm in Tokyo. However, there is another very important statistic when it comes to these two athletes, and that's that Rye Benjamin has never defeated Karsten Vorholm in the 400 meter hurdles. This is a pretty crazy fact, as Benjamin is certainly one of the greatest 400 meter hurdlers to ever compete, 
But it is true, and it does set the standard at just how great Vorholm is in this event. If we go back to August 29th of 2019, we can see both athletes race for the very first time. And when they finally did clash in this event, both runners managed to set new personal bests, both running under 47 seconds for the very first time, which made them both one of only four athletes to ever achieve this sub-47 second time. Clearly, these two world-class competitors had brought out the best in each other, and when they once again met in the 2019 World Championships, they once again ran very fast times, and again, Vorholm managed to bring home the victory in these World Championships. Since this global event in 2019, Vorholm and Benjamin have yet to race again in the 400 hurdles, but given their almost untouchable status over the previous two years in this event, it's almost a guarantee that one of them will bring home the victory in Tokyo. In a recent video which we'll link up above right now, we talked about the incredible racing history of Karsten Vorholm over the previous two years, as he's not only been victorious on the world's biggest stages, but he's gone undefeated in this event since 2018. It's a pretty safe bet to say that Vorholm will win the gold medal in this event in the Tokyo Olympics. I mean, the man has been so solid for such a long time. But I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm gonna say that this is Rye Benjamin's time to finally shine. This 46.83 during the Olympic trials was so effortless, so smooth, and so calculated that there is no way that he cannot run much faster. For these Olympic finals in the 400 meter hurdles, I'm predicting that Rye Benjamin will win the gold medal and he will set a new world record in 46.50 seconds, followed closely by Karsten Vorholm in 46.65, and finishing in third will be Dos Santos from Brazil in 47.30. It's only a matter of time before someone manages to take down Karsten Vorholm, and what better place to do it than the Olympic finals? And now I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think will win the Olympic gold medal in the men's 400 meter hurdles? And just how fast will they run? Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, this event is going to be insane.